This proof is a really good one to practice on because of the variety of things you'll see for reasons. Everything from postulates to properties to given information. So maybe you want to hit pause right now and see if you can solve this proof on your own and then come back and join me. Okay, let's see how you did. First we would put down the given. So MN is equal to PQ. So I'd put that down as the given information. And I'm kind of looking at the picture and I'm going to mark the given. MN and PQ are equal. And my goal here today is to show that that segment and that segment are the same. And I see that from what I start with, both of them are gaining NP. So that's going to be my next statement, is to say that NP is congruent to NP, and that's my reflexive property. And I'm putting that down because that is what I plan to add to both sides of my equal sign. So I have to show that what I'm adding to both sides is equal. So I have an NP and a PQ, that's from step one, and I'm going to add NP to the left side and I'm going to add NP to the right side. So what has happened is I've used the addition property. Now here comes one of the postulates that you've already been introduced to. This postulate says MN plus NP is equal to MP. So the first part of this segment plus the second part equals the whole thing. And so likewise, we can say NP plus PQ equals NQ. And that is your segment addition postulate. You've used that one many times before. So what we have now is we have MN plus NP appears there and there. We have PQ plus NP appears there and there. So if they're equal in statement number three, then they're still equal in statement number four. So these two values must be equal as well. And so we are going to say MP is equal to NQ, and that is our transitive property. And we are now done with this proof.